welcome to the book club. I am James Levine. I am Muhammad. And today we are returning to one of our most tried and true formats. What started it all, an album review. Although this album review is going to be a special one because it's our first artist to double up. It is, yeah. Um, we had begun um, the original episode, season one, with Big Sean. And, you know, that seemed like a natural person to kind of begin season two with as well. Right. But I think the Isaiah Rashad one was one of our best episodes that we had done. And uh, I think the Sun's Tyree is just such a natural progression of the album that we had reviewed then. Right. Sylvia Demo thought it would be a good start for uh, for this to take place. Absolutely. Yeah. I was uh, pleasantly surprised uh, how well I liked it, how much I liked yeah. it. Yeah. And I was also pleasantly surprised that it's our most uh, most watched review yeah. on YouTube yeah. that we have. So you guys love it. I love it. You know what's number two is actually when um, that Burner Boy song. Oh, it interesting. It actually might be number one, actually. That, oh. that Burner Boy song still gets us followers. It still gets nice. us like, like every once in a while another 30, 40 views come through. And I'm like, oh. what? I haven't really uploaded much. Burn like, what's doing Hold on. it? Thank Burn you, Burner Boy. Boy. Burn hey, Boy. got to get him on the book club. Get these views up. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. But before that, I actually have a question for you. Yeah. Because um, this weekend, if I'm not mistaken, you were attempting to be a part of the, um, to break a Guinness World Record. Yeah. How did that go? Yeah, so it was pretty cool. Uh, my friend, me and Sophie, we drove up to Morgan Hill at the sports complex. Our parking was hella packed. It was like crazy packed, especially because they had like other like, stuff going on at the uh, at the sports complex as well um uh, so we got there and it's hella interesting because so the record was like the largest soccer practice session with like the record was in adelaide australia with like 800 and six thirty five people i think or so okay uh and so what they had done was when they advertised it they said the first 1200 people that show up get like a shirt a ball and some fucking body armor drink right okay uh so we went there early and they got a bunch of people to show up there early and you had you kind of were wondering like if you'd even be part of that number and da, 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 da. but funny enough the total number of people that they had was like 930 or 960 something or whatever the fuck people total so it's like shit they hella fucking figure this out well where they entice people to come early and promptly by making it seem like there's a limited amount of number of something when there really is right. it. Yeah, so it was cool. We went in. Um, They kind of organized you by groups uh, based on color, like of, like the shirt, not your skin. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, so we decided to get the pink shirts. Uh, so I grabbed one of those. Sophie grabbed it, my friend too. And then you kind of go out there, then you get your ball, and then you just do a practice session. It was led by this um, former Earthquakes player, Shea Salinas, who had like played there multiple seasons previously. So that was kind of cool. Some dude from Guinness World Records was there, like an official person or whatever. That was kind of funny to see. Uh, but yeah, it was just 30 minutes exactly. Supposedly, there were if somebody hadn't really participated or put, their full effort into it they would have discounted them i'm not sure if that's something that they actually did do or it was just said but whatever and i guess yeah they fucking broke the, or we broke the record it's crazy yeah, yeah. it's crazy yeah. it's insane yeah you know what i'm just thinking would it it's be a, cool. a good or a bad job to be because i see the pluses and the minuses a good or a bad job to be one of the the Guinness. Um, it seems like a fun job, yeah. It seemed pretty cool. Yeah, I feel like it's cool when it's like, oh, you're flying out to um, Kansas because they have the biggest pumpkins. Yeah, and that's kind of cool. But I feel like it can like really quickly get like uh, this guy in Maine has the most <laughs> earwax I've ever seen. It's like, oh, you're sending me. I didn't even think of that. Earwax uh, job. Wow. Funny. Somebody has that's longer funny. toenails than the yeah, last guy. Right. You're sending it gets me? even wilder. Dog, they not fucking with me at work, dog. They Long as Fucking <laughs> pubic hair? Is that even allowed? How are we even gonna market that? <laughs> Isn't this in a book? It's all ages. <laughs> what know. is this? Costco's gonna drop us. Shout out to Guinness though being yeah, that's the, pretty cool. Um, I should have worn the shirt. Uh, I'll wear it next week. Next week. Yeah, yeah, I'll wear the shirt next week. Guinness is like they've somehow created in this 
there's no system to this there's no industry of this but somehow they became the de facto like no it's not a world well, yeah. record unless <laughs> we know it's a guinness <laughs> no i'm not gonna lie but enticing part was that it's a guinness one just because if it hadn't been like who the fuck cares you know what i mean right if it like, was okay. just like this but, like, is the, the county world record yeah. bro, whatever like no, it is hella cool because the shirt itself does say guinness <laughs> it's See? like a fish yeah. yeah no yeah, no it's crazy how these things work and how it plays in our brain you know but I guess it shows prestige too, in a sense. But you know, um, that means you know it's unfortunate for our, our viewers from Adelaide. Um, yeah, you know, we hope one day it. you guys can break the record, yeah. and then we'll, you know we'll do we'll it go again. Back I'll and join. Forth, yeah. But altogether, great yeah. experience. Yeah, it was super them. fun. Yeah, the weather was nice. Uh, so at that very end, of course, everyone got body armor, got cherry lime. One hey, of man, my favorite. The official friends. drink. Yeah, of world, world records. records. <laughs> <laughs> world record breakers <laughs> drink body armor. The official drink. Yeah, it was, it was super fun. Um, traffic getting back out was kind of rough because was just one lane, but even that was tolerable. All the rope holes and nothing bad. Yeah. All right. Uh, so if you ever get a chance to uh, break a world record, go do it. It's got the book club's approval. We love it here. Book club world records approved as well. Forget Guinness. Book club world approved you know, record. Th that's First book be... club world approved record. Yeah. 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 I was there. Witnessed it with my own two eyes. When uh, when we get like nameplates for for mm -hmm. ourselves underneath, it has to be a part of your like host and the Guinness world, world record yeah. breaker. Gotta have yeah, Guinness. Yeah. Gotta that's have the Guinness. true. Like, Guinness. Add some, yeah. add some prestige. Uh, prestige. Yeah. Dude, exactly. Yeah. That's how you get get the legitimacy, of course. Yeah. We are going to get into this album here. Yep. It is The Sun's Tirade mm -hmm. by Isaiah Rashad. Pull up the producers. Which, you know, um, I hear is one of his, his best ones. Oh, yeah. One of his better ones, I should say. I don't know if I've heard the word best yet, but you know, I'll be oh, the judge of that. Oh, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Um, yes, yes, as Tom Nick would say. Bam. Boom. The Sun's Tirade. Uh, so while this is queued up, go yep. ahead and give us some, um, give me some background on this sure. album and, and uh, what it means in context of his career and blah, 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 and all of that. Yeah. So first album was Sylvia Demo in 2014. Two years later, he dropped this. Uh, Sylvia Demo, despite the fact that it's a full-length album. Actually, never mind. Um, but yeah, two years later, he drops this. Um, Sylvia Demo had done well, so a follow-up was expected sooner. And that's one of the many things that, like, throughout the skits, like, Dave Free will appear, including the very first track called Where You At? It's just a skit. And it's Dave Free basically talking about uh, how Sylvia Demo did well. There was a lot of praise and acclaim for it. And then he kind of... Isaiah Rashad just kind of dropped off the face of the earth and hasn't followed up since. And it's been a constant thing of, you know, I'm going to provide you the album now or soon and soon and soon. And then it just hasn't come. Right. Got it. Which is funny because after this dropped, it took another like five years or so for um, the house is burning to come out. Uh, That's the most recent one. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So it kind of <laughs> fell back on that motif, I guess. But um, so that's one of the many things that they just kind of touch on on this is just how long it took for Isaiah Rashad to get here. But from, you know, what I understand and such, like while he was promoting Sylvia Demo, there's like issues with Xanax and little things like that that kind of led to the delay of the album. Got it. And him kind of falling out of that focus and creativity. Are these things that are addressed? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. He provides a better answer throughout the whole album than I even could. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Um, I love it. Let's mm -hmm. give this a listen. If you're now tuning in, this is the uh, the Sun's Tirade by Isaiah Brashad. This is the book club. Let's check it out. Welcome back. It's the book club. We are listening to Isaiah Rashad's third the album, second, second album, album. Excuse me, the Sun's Tirade. This is the first song. It is called. What's it called? Um, are we doing the very first track? That's. Is it where you at the skit? Uh, actually, don't do because you explained actually okay, where you cool, at. Yeah. Um, for the squaw. Squa. For yeah, the squaw. Yeah, for the squaw. Let me tie this fuck. Turn up. Turn the light off, man. Turn it down. Hey, you roll up. You roll up for the boys. For the squad. Hang on, man. 
No, that's that's our job right now. Prophecy and on the norm, the plaque of be to be expressing who we are and addressing who they aren't and doing what they can't. And we if I can pay my bills, I'm good. I'm coming over. Found a message in my body. Your son is coming up by the bill, by it, by boo. What well, you yeah, already saying? You ain't nothing but a baby. Your fear is growing up. Listen, here I say, my dude, and what you call it? It was heaven at the bottom. By the bill, by ill, by boo. My y'all is saying you ain't nothing but a baby. Your fear is growing up. That was for the squaw. Um, what do you what do you most like about this song? That's one of your your uh, stronger songs you've said. Yeah, right? absolutely. I like how like melancholy the beat is. His singing in it has just, just seems so sad and depressing, but I like it. Not to you know enjoy another man's misery. But right. Such such beautiful music. Uh, I think it's like one of his more poetical songs in the sense that it's like you know. The subject matter is a little bit more obscure, you know. He makes just references to like other things, such as nature, just mindset, etc., rather than direct references. I just like it, and I love how like towards the end of the second verse, he goes into like a little rap stint. I think right. it's just a very cool, solemn song. Yeah, uh, I like that. Um, I like emotional music. Yeah. And I think that like the and I think that uh like the term emotional kind mm-hmm. of 
brings people quickly yeah. to like a oh uh, it's about crying it's about yeah this, no about that. it's the, but I, I mean I, I think it's like the opposite of emotionless yeah. music you know what I'm saying in that in that regard I I like that kind of music and I think that just a song like this off the uh, you know from the top of the album yeah takes me into the emotions he's dealing with and just yeah. how he generally feels you know and yeah. it's I, I get what you're saying by like oh to um, you know, I, I hate to say good things at this song of this man's misery, yeah. you know, but that's the part that, Maybe. and and I think like that's the idea where people are like Eminem should get back on drugs, yeah. right? Because it kind of he there's a certain kind of thing that he touches, emotion that he touches, and I feel like with a lot of emotional songs, mm -hmm. some the emotion I have attached to it is so strong yeah. that I really can't listen to it anymore. Cause that'll take yeah. me right back to a place where I needed that, but maybe a place I didn't, I don't want to go yeah. too often. You I know? agree with that. Uh, some are just like, Oh, I remember when that got me through that time. Like I was going yeah, through that one that's... thing and I listened to this album, this Isaiah Rashad album, you know, for a month or whatever. And just, I remember the moments of that, that it's month. more like and a I victory remember, lap. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You go back to like, Oh, what, you know, what yeah. time. And I think that, you know, that's ultimately for him to make a song like this, that yeah. has to be really the, um, you know, that's the the end game right. is for that to connect with somebody. It's not just to tell you these things and yeah. be vulnerable for no reason. You know, it's to share that so we can kind of have that shared experience. Yeah, it's a great way to put it. Yeah. And I think that that goes along with, because, uh, you know, sometimes we've talked about um, artists who you know we see people at their their top of popularity we go back to like an older album of somebody and it's like wow i remember nelly's run was crazy you know uh mm -hmm. you know kendrick still having a run like yeah. that's crazy right uh i think that that's a part a big part of longevity is it's easy to be hot and i'm not like picking on nelly a certain mm -hmm. way but it's like it's it's easier i should say it's not easy but mm -hmm. you know he had so many huge songs but at the end of the day i don't think those were songs that I don't think he had many that were super popular in his um, his catalog where somebody's like, damn, that got me through like a hard time. Right, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like the vulnerability of Nelly in this song is what got me to connect right. so hard. Yeah. You know, uh, I think that's how somebody like a 50 Cent ends up kind of losing, uh, not that he didn't have any songs like that, uh -huh. but I think that's where he loses popularity. Where I think a Lil Wayne, there are songs where it's like, yeah. wow, this is Lil Wayne talking about his drug addiction. This yeah, is Lil Wayne talking about, point. you know, uh, how he feels about this, how he feels about that. With Fifty Cent, um, he helps you get through hard times if you if you've been shot hella times, and if many men wish death upon you, like you could relate to, like, damn, I remember when many men wish death upon me. And motherfucker shot me nine times. You know? Right, you go back. Yeah, anytime yeah, I listen yeah, to Get Rich or Die Trying, uh, I'm like, oh yeah, shit, I remember, I remember those days. Even like, Nelly, I'm sure if we think hard enough, it helps somebody get through somebody. It's something. I don't know what. Maybe now you know. Andale, Andale probably brings <laughs> fucking PTSD to some people. Like I remember when I used to be rushed for everything in life. You know. <laughs> I will say though, um, you're kind of tapping into something we've also been kind of hovering around of. Maybe the maybe Nelly's music or yeah, or Fifty Cent's like, music didn't have like carry with the same popularity yeah. that um, like other artists have. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe they didn't kind of uh, reach that point, but they have kind of hit this um, this longevity where we talk about like a little flip album that's a cult classic mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying because we haven't heard it in so long when you go back it's like ah oh, this is actually pretty good you know so I, I think that as our our um our quest to create the new cult classics of this generation yeah. and define what they are i think that that's that artist to where oh ride with me ride with you did get me through it or it was like a critical time in my you know life or whatever yeah. uh but i can already tell i can i can see just from this song that this is why Isaiah Rashad has the fans that he does. Yeah. I do feel like when you're a fan of his, it's one of those artists you really love. And uh, I can already kind of sense, you know, it's, why that is. Uh, the next song, twist this one. Oh, yeah. Say. The oh. next song is Free Lunch. Mm -hmm. What can you tell us about Free Lunch? Uh, so this one is, uh, 
he focuses a bit more on lyricism, L- not lyricism in the. T- I mean, like the words in that he chooses and his poetry is a big part of all of these songs, but I guess a, a more traditional la- rap lyricism where there's a cool little flow, right. a bit of um like wordplay, little things like that. Right. He's you know he's he's from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Okay. Uh yeah. Uh, Right, that is intended. Yeah, yeah, chat. Intense, yeah. yeah. Um, so he's also a big fun of Southern artists and like Three Six Mafia, UJK, etc. So there's even a Pimp C reference here that I think you'll appreciate when it comes to it. Okay. Uh, it's a bit more upbeat song, beautiful production as well. I was just looking up who the producer was. Previous one was Francis Got Heat for the Squaw. Okay. Um, this one is Camel By, but it's it's really cool guitar strings in this one. Uh, yeah, I think you'll dig it. All right, let's jump into yeah. it. This is Free Lunch, Isaiah Rashad's The Sun's Tirade. You're watching The Book Club. Ticket, ticket, meal, ticket, ticket, comma, uh, still in my liver, real niggas in my condom, uh, feel, hit me back, feel this one where the powder pack, feel, bring me back, feel this one out in California, the blow is good, the hoe is good, the show is good, you know it's good, cool as me out front, then can't cool, still can't fuck, you know it's good, clean as tight, even ain't no head and shoulders, hoe, you know it's good, shout out to my kid folk, just got on that Coca-Cola, scrub. Watch my pole fall in my go-kart, this my get away as fuck. In my hood, we call it book. Fuck by what you think of me. All my hoes be nines and dimes. All she want is shake and grease. All you know is what your mammy taught you about the surface. Get your meal ticket, ticket, meal ticket, ticket, comma. Uh, still in my liver, real niggas in my condom. Uh, feel, hit me back. Feel this one where the powder pack. Feel, bring me back. Feel this one out in California. Ticket, ticket, meal, ticket, ticket, comma, uh, still in my liver, real niggas in my condom, uh, feel, hit me back, feel this one where the powder pack, peel, bring me back, feel this one out in California. Yeah, your trunk was for the rappers, long the cop was cool with smoking peace, ain't we them to move at 18, you might buy the atrium, where you say, highway 58, in my cousin house, nowadays I like to bring my nephews and my budget out, I come from where you can't suck my dick and leave my cousin out In my hood, we call it clout Fuck about what you think of me All my hoe be nines and dimes All she want was chicken grease All you know is what your mammy taught you About the surface, get your meal Ticket, ticket, meal, ticket, ticket Comma, uh, still in my liver Real niggas in my condom uh, Feel, hit me back Feel this one where the powder pack Peel, bring me back Feel this one out in California Meal, ticket, ticket Uh, right off the bat, I feel like I'm now getting a vibe. If I'm not mistaken, this was a vibe I had felt on the first album as yeah. well to where this is good smoking music. Oh, yeah. Funny enough, he calls it music for the vibers, which is a segue to the next track as well because he blatantly says it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, that's what it really is. It's, uh, yeah. And it feels like... Um, Feels like this is. It feels like second generation Top Dog TDE. Yeah, absolutely. Like yeah, same that, time know? period as SZA. I believe him and SZA are really good friends. Right. Uh, makes sense. They kind of got signed. They were probably you know hazed by Q and J Rock right. or something. And it's it's cool <laughs> because they they developed a sound to where it doesn't sound like a Kendrick song. It yeah. doesn't sound like a Schoolboy Q song. It doesn't sound like an Absol song or anything yeah, like that. Dog. It sounds like a TDE song though. And yeah. it sounds like Isaiah. That's a, a, that's an amazing way to put it. And it was 
was like that for their entire camp. You know, J- right. you know what to expect from a J Rock song, Q song, Snap right. Soul, and then Kendrick. What's beautiful? You don't know what to expect. Right. You know, yeah. But it's still yeah, gonna but, yeah. still be in this kind the of you know to expect something crazy that happens yeah. inside of yeah. here. You know, uh, similar to like a um, like a Cash Money, Young Money had that feeling where it's like, oh, I know this is a Cash Money song. You know, right? yeah. I know this is a uh, Interscope song, song you know, yeah. type of thing. That's so a great way to put that's it. cool to see like the you know the fruits of tde's labor you know yeah. just not being a a this group is black hippie you know they're able to I'm focus to gangster rap people. focus yeah. la yeah, gang gang nice uh but i like that song a lot yeah that was a good one funny enough you mentioned tde as well next one has sir on it um it's a beautiful song it's called rope and then it transitions to rose gold both of them is beautiful between the transition, there's a cool little guitar like portion that's kind of subtle but really cool. And this is one of his more sing songy songs. And he's like wailing through it. I don't know if wailing is the right word. Once you listen to it, I think, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I love it though. Isaiah Rashad and Sir. Yep. Also TD. Yep, okay, yep. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. To the finish line If I don't make it To your titties I got the music For the vibers I got the music For the vibers And we don't usually Talk about it It's like you debating With the Bible I'm really preaching To the quiet I brought the music For the vibers Though And then the chalice Music for the vibers Yeah let us know music, right Yeah there. No, uh, no joke about it No question about it What'd you think? Um, 
I now nah, I'm nah, sensing, nah, 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 nah. and I don't mind it. You know, as I said, I like this music, but now I'm sensing it's a pretty sad album. Oh yeah, that yeah. he's making a in a um, maybe a sad time, and like it kind yeah. of addresses in a lot of ways what you're talking about the the break that he had taken from the first yeah. one to this one. Um, we're gonna, but I, I I like it though. Like I I don't I don't not like I like sad songs. Yeah, no, you know? I and I you. think that when because I like that there's like courage in the sad song and like yeah. writing a sad song. You know, like there's is courage, and I think it's so. You know, you don't necessarily go up to somebody and be like, man, I fucking feel sad. Like a random person that yeah. you're going to see, right? But when you're writing a sad song, that's essentially what you're opening you yourself up, up to. to. I agree. You know? and, no, 100%. Um, so I, I like that. But I, I do feel the um, the most deaf kind of reference. Something out of the new danger. Right. Uh, cool, right? Cool, I liked yeah. it. It was, yeah. um, it was funky. Yeah. It was... Um, Kind of reminded me of something was it Black like Jack Funeral, or was it was it the funeral or this? Yeah, it just yeah. gave me that little New Orleans bouncy, uh, right. jazzy vibes, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I liked it. I liked and it. And the a singing lot. too, just because most of has just, yeah. Yeah, it yeah. was a it was a good song. I'm glad that I'm happy to know he has that like in his arsenal. Well, yeah, you know, like he can he can bust that out. Uh, the next one. Is it what's wrong? Okay, so for this one, right? Right. It starts off with the Isaiah Rashad verse. It's it's cool, whatever. Then Kendrick comes in, kills shit. One of Kendrick's best verses, I think. Okay. Of all time. Uh, okay. Yeah, but like maybe okay. I don't want to like put that out there. Maybe like you know, maybe fuck it. Top, hey, top five to ten. Though. Top five to right. ten. Why not? Top five to ten. Uh, and then fucking Isaiah Rashad comes in after as, on the third verse and. I'm going to die on the hill that I'm not uh, that I think maybe Isaiah Rashad might have gotten Kendrick on it okay. on a top tier Kendrick verse. OK, I'm excited. It's beautiful that. production. Let me see who produced that. The last one was J Pounds. OK. And then the antidote. So I'm guessing wrote was J Pounds and Rose Gold was antidote. Rose Gold was the one that had Sir. And then what's wrong is produced by all I have is D Sanders and Alby Smooth. Smooth spelled in the way our buddy. Uh. Ryan would have spilled smooth. it too. Yeah, smooth. I'll be smooth. I'll be smooth. All right, I'll be smooth. Let's oh, see what you got. And I believe, wait, wait, did Zakari sing on this first and then on Dam? But I forgot which came first because Zakari ended up on Dam as well. Right, but Dam was right. 2017, was right? 2017, then yeah. this was Zakari's first. Uh, First appearance. Yeah, okay. with TDE. Yeah. All right. Shout out to Zakari. Yeah. Shout out to TDE. Uh, this is. Oh, yeah, I'm excited wrong. for you. How many flow do you thought convey? How many know you can't walk away? 
Depending on the way I feel, I might kill everybody around me. Might heal everybody around me. How the wind blow over your window. Let the debris in, never let me in. Night kick back with kick though. Maybe if I could live, honey, yeah, that'd be real. Pay me if I'ma be rhyming these, I'ma them. Crazy, my others, your went to my mama them. My daddy said a Mercedes and honey him. But I ain't got one. I'm riding shotgun with a three-piece chicken dinner and shotgun. I bring your weekend to an end and pop one. I'm on the deep end, boss, nigga, you're not one. And I believe in Kool-Aid and Godson. Do you believe that black man is our son? I made enough residuals to hide some. I gave enough, my niggas know I divide some. I told them I'm the best rapper since 25. Been like that for a while now, I'm 29. Any nigga that disagree is a fucking lie. Part of me see my alter ego with Gemini. Him and I been around ever since Reagan with criticize. Might stay in the Trump Tower for one week. Spray paint all the wall and Smoke weed, fuck them and fuck y'all and fuck me. I proceed my last check and proceeds to all the keys, the hood, the bricks, the books, the fix, the blocks we own to write my wrong, the word to give, the life I live as I get. So out of myself. Had a no, the the verses lived up to the hype. Zakari singing beautiful, right? I, I think uh, my favorite song so far on the album. Mm-hmm. I think I like his first verse. Felt like, and then you pointed out that was a I don't know if that was Zakari in the background even singing, mm-hmm. but the the first verse mm-hmm. reminded me of. There's a lot. Everybody says that they're like. Um, inspired by outcast mm-hmm. but it felt like that uh big crit hits that flow sometimes not saying that exact flow but oh, kinda hits that from the nerve. first verse yeah, yes I, first I, I yeah that's a good one it's idea. like ah like that there's, dun, there's dun, the flares dun, of yeah. big boy there's the flares of andre like it yeah. was such a it was like really southern influenced in its yeah. own you know specific way the second verse his second verse I thought it was interesting too because it, it had a different kind of southern flavor mm-hmm. i thought it it favored the like when whenever you hear a currency verse mm-hmm. and like he's he's spitting like mm-hmm. he decides like oh I'm yeah gonna go it had that and i'm not even saying like it was a carbon copy of it but it, there was yeah. like that flare of how it because it was a little bit lighter the first one was yeah, kind i see of what you're saying punchy. yeah this one was a little lighter and it, was it a has a bounce to it maybe yeah it has a cool bounce to it but it said also in a tone like the tone of his voice changed from the first to second one to kind mm-hmm. of fit that I thought that was, you know, nine times out of ten, and a rapper is going to probably use the same flow on the song, yeah, or maybe switch it up mid verse or something like that. Yeah. But it was two, and I still felt felt like at all times this is like a good Isaiah Rashad verse, but it was yeah. two that had two different kind of vibes, and it was, and then Kendrick, you know, Amazing. doing his Just, own thing. So I, I think this is uh, one of the best rap songs on this uh, the, on the, the album, album, and yeah. my favorite song of the yeah, album. Yeah, it's one of my favorites as well. Absolutely, it's one I come back to often. It's yeah, it's it's just a good song. Uh, the next song we have actually, which one do you want to do next? Uh, this has a start. Park, like park is a banger. Right, we gotta do it's park. Too, yeah. What is um, what's the the four one one on? Um, uh, I just looked up the producer. I guess it's produced by Park Avenue D Sanders. Um, no real four one one. It's just a vibe. I, I hate 
I'm going to probably be saying this throughout, but it's just a vibey ass track. Uh, it's just him spitting. It's a bit nonsensical. He has a line there where he says, I'm more Cuban than Maverick. Okay. Uh, right, like little right. things like that. Um, or how he'll pay his mechanic in fabric. Uh, da, da, da. But it's like right. that one's a Travis Scott reference because he owes his mechanic 3500 blah, blah. And I guess fabric right. is also money. But little nonsensical stuff, but it's fun. And it, he just has a cool flow. And the production's amazing. But it keeps with that somber tone. It's nothing up. It's okay. upbeat, but not upbeat. Right, 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 right. Which I'm, I'm catching yeah. the vibe of that. Itself, exactly. You know? yeah. uh, let's check this out. This is Park, Park. by Isaiah Rashad. Good one to Chief 2 2. You know, that's not as as easy to do is um, it's hard to to rap hard uh-huh. and then like still be sad. He did it though. Did you hear yeah, that? He it gets even did. more hype. Let the next like 10 okay. seconds play. Just the next 10 seconds. Bitch, I might shoot at your camera. Bitch, I might shoot at your camera. Nigga was handy. Niggas won't piss on your grave. Bitch, I might piss on your family. Nigga was handy. Bitch, I might shoot at your camera. Bitch, I might shoot at your like, Why are you even concerned about that? Uh, Dude, that's the, the second hardest um, piss this I've ever heard. The first one is still that's like, Kool Aid Mountain Dew and Chris on you. Oh, that's a cam line, huh? Yeah, that's the best piss line of all. Wow, time. thanks for reminding this me is, of that. You have convinced. This is second. This is second. Like this is up there. Like as far as like sure. piss disses go, second. It, piss is, the only the piss most on disrespectful we thing. We might just piss on your family. <laughs> the the only thing that's more disrespectful <laughs> is 
explaining to you the exact things that you're going to be receiving in the piss. The extra it's not like I'm the just drinking water. Not even the best part of the yeah, Chris. Yeah, exactly. I'm I'm not fucking drinking the water. Remnants. No, 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 no. That's Kool Aid, Mountain Dew, and Chris, Chris on. on you. Uh, obligatory shout out to Travis Scott and um, Kanye's "Piss on Your Grave" as well. Piss on your grave. That's number another three. good miss. Yeah, That's another good. Three. Yeah. There's no even like subtle way about that. They're not even being clever like Isaiah Rashad or Cam was. That right. was just a piss on your grave. Piss on your grave. Yeah, like right. multiple times over abrasive. Fucking instruments. That's that's a worse threat than even I'm gonna kill you. It's like it's like that's now it's implied. Humiliating. It's yeah. like when it happens. Yeah, when to yeah. We're talking about death in the past. Oh, tense. piss on your grave. That's right. right. You, know, you, you, you bring that. that to someone. It's like, yeah. uh, okay, I guess that's a it's a good yeah. it's a good intimidation line right there. It is. Yeah. Use that. Uh, but that is not sponsored by us. If you ever use that, do not do delete not do that it. to us. We did not tell you to do, do that. Do it. Uh, which one do you want to do next? Shit. Like maybe four or five more. This is a long ass motherfucker. Fucking like album. Your favorite four from here. Uh, it's, it's fucking. Uh, B Day is good. Let's do Silk the Shaka because that shit's hella fucking sad. And it's a Steve Lacey beat. Silk are we the on? Shaka with, yes, we are on right Steve now. Steve Lacey beats Silk the Shaka with Sid from. Internet, odd future fame. Okay. Travis, uh, Travis Tacos, you know, sister right. from Dave fame. From Dave, correct. From correct. Dave fame. Um, um, beautiful uh, track, hella sash. It's a tearjerker. I'm going to uh, need the fucking tissues, guys. Let's give it a run. This is Silk to Shaka. I almost got this one. This you got to memorize. It's for the haves and the have. Want to give a bucks. Hey, I ride around in your car, I put my weed in your blunt, I am the sky to your star, I am the end of your month, you are the star of my day, you bought the smile from my face, I see the world from your eyes, you put it off from my side, I know you love me, it's fair, I know you love me, but yeah, I know you love me. I know you love me. You give me all that you got. You make it stretch it and flip. I fell in love with your thoughts. I learned this morning your hips. You know I'm caught in my vibe. But I still give you my rip. You hear him calling my name. But no, it's hard for me here. I left a home with my son. I chose the world and nothing. I say, you know, I'll be back. You try your best to pretend. I say, you all that I want. And when I make it, it's real. I hear him calling my name. It's getting hard for me here to know you love me. It's rare to know you love me. But yeah, I know you love me. It's rare, I know you love me. At times, you like forget about your own troubles and just focus on his. When you really like <laughs> tunnel vision of his lyrics, like shit, my weed habit's so close to snorting powder. Damn, think, uh, Zay, um, that's real. That's actually a. Oh, it's a reference slide. No, 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 no. Oh, I, I, that's a really piece. good point because up to this point on the album, his writing has been so personal that. You, you oscillate at times between, oh, like these words I'm applying to my life and you kind of just observe what's happening, you know, enjoy it, you know, for like yeah. how is his, you know, what's going on with him? You know, like you stop sometimes and you're like, oh, like I'm now uh, tuned into that. And I think that was a good song where it's, it's, he's very, um, 
uh, descriptive, I guess is a better word yeah. for it, but he, he creates good imagery of this is how he feels. Not even imagery. He creates a good feeling of like, damn, this is how I ever shop it right now. Like, and that's, yeah. again, that's honest. That's why yeah. he, this songs like this are why he has the fan base that he has because the, the more, the more, uh, and maybe you kind of lose people, right? Because you can make like the most meaningless song and everybody likes it. But the more kind of focused you make it and the more honest you become yeah. and the more vulnerable you become, I think that the people who grab onto that are the ones who make the like the crazy fan bases that are like yeah, small, but they're like, you know, they sell out. He sells out every show because is that like an XXX Tentesco type of um I would say close. I would say XXX was about to take this kind of sound and make it mainstream. Okay. He was on his way to being huge with a zip very similar. That's actually a good comparison I would I would have to this project so far is it sounds a little bit like X in that way, like when he does those kind of songs. And uh it's a cool sound. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a it's a cool sound and it's it's uh once again, the more vulnerable you get, like the more um the more people want to connect. Yeah. You know, the more, like the more you show people about yourself, the more they want to get to know you more, you know, yeah. he does a really good job of that. That was a good song. Um, since we're wrapping it down to a few funny enough, the next one is a really good one too. So we should do Titty and Dollar. Titty and Dollar. Funny enough, Silk, you know, in Sylvia demo, he had RIP Kevin Miller, a reference to, uh, Master P and C Murder's brother, I believe. Um, and there's various homages throughout. Um, there's uh, on Sylvia demo. There's also a track called Brad Jordan for Scarface. Here, obviously, no nothing hidden. Silk the Shaka, obvious one. But Titty and Dollar, though, you know who they're talking about. Talking about Titty Boy and Play a Circle. Yup. And was was the other one just Dollar? I think it was just Dollar. It was just Dollar. Yeah. Well, yeah, Titty Boy and Titty just, Boy and fucking just Dollar, and dollar. yeah, Titty and Dollar, fucking. Uh, I don't know where the inf the two chains or influence comes from here, but it's a dope song and it's one of yeah. I mean, okay. I think yeah. Got J Rock on it. Let's yeah. check it out. This is the Book Club. Isaiah Rashad's "The Sun's Tirade." <laughs> I'm just one dirty motherfucker. I hurt myself way more than you. It's too much out here for the cup. I put the coating in my suit. Used to spin in granny face. I'm supposed to show you love. I don't need no picket line. I don't need no fucking hug. You just rapping just because. With your napkin full of drugs. Too exclusive in the back. Should we sneak them in the club? Who is that nigga if I ain't that nigga? It ain't that popping if I ain't with Robert. Gotta consider my liver, my nigga. Gotta get rid of my kid and my nigga. That was the only thing holding me back. None of these niggas ain't telling me shit. Lately, I only been buffing that yachty. All this Burberry on top of my body. I know the Sunday would give me that robbery. You pulling up, try to tell me the truth. I hit you back like a nigga revising. Look what I got, bitches, titty and dollar. Tell them back back and just check out the power. Sweet line, I used to walk. We used to walk. It's gonna be like one of them. But now I don't. I ran away. I ran away. I ran away. I know that bitch is gonna be put to but I love Uh, I think this is my new favorite. You like this one? I think this one. I think... Um, I like it, yeah. The production caught me off guard a few times in a good way. Nice. Where uh, things Whistling were coming in. Like the whistling came in. I thought that was really cool. Uh, yeah. And then how it dropped was a little bit harder yeah. than I anticipated it dropping. Yeah. The uh, other verses are cool. cool too. So yeah, check it out yeah. whenever you get a chance. Right. Uh, they both come through. I'm not too familiar with Hugh Augustine. But he spits, and then J-Rock has the third verse, and he brings it as well. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, Y'all should check that out as well. Titty and Dollar. Yeah. Um, two more. Which one do you think is Titty Boy? Who would be the two chains out of here, and who's the... Of... Um, out of the three, let's just... Um, I think... Chains. I'm going to guess... 
I'm gonna guess Hugh Augustine is Titty two. Boy. He's a new yeah. two chains. And um, J Rock has to be Dollar. J Rock is Dollar, uh, so like, it's like he got uh, the yeah, new. Yeah. Oh yeah, he did uh, say that. That's a good point. Yeah. There it is. There it is, guys. The new player circle. All right. Um. Uh, let's see. What are we at? Two more. We should definitely do the final track as well. It's beautiful. Okay. Uh, dude, this is tough, man. AA's got the star. Yeah. And I know Sara likes AA. Yeah. It was an AA or a lot we talked about. They're both good. They're both AA. Yeah, AA is right. good. You can't go wrong. Let's go. You can't go wrong with yeah. AA. Let's well, do this one, one next. Them. Let's go. Like father, like baby, don't drink. Like baby, don't think too much. Don't try. I got here. I can't eat. Slice if I live like baby don't drink like baby don't think too much don't drive I got here I can't even tell my nigga ain't a damn thing put outside size my cup nigga I'm going to size my hair nigga I'm boosting nigga burnt out can't even get fried no more figured it was just a west I'm moving but thank God I got my bank where I keep my heart inside and I keep it far away from all these hoes and flashy lights I'm like Brainy with the whip. I'm not Oprah with these hoes. And I keep a snooping bar because it keep me on my toes. We've been riding for 10 X's and I still been in your boot. We get there to buy the still. So if I ever let you go, baby, you classic. Baby, you got it. Baby, you ain't really supposed to do the whole thing. Bitch, too smart, got lost. Just fucking with a nigga. Got toss cause a nigga couldn't think. I was feeling in the back, I was chilling in the back Cause I always really wanna be the nigga in the back You don't live with me, I can show you how to live But I promise I can show a pussy nigga how to act Jumped out smoking from the side door With a bitch I wanted in the eighth grade Hope you got a ass like Nori Oh, you buzzy niggas never see me This is why I never wanna feed you I can tell you bitches got a limit I can be subjective by you fucking up the high, why you fucking up the ride, why you fucking up the heist. I remember looking from the outside. I remember working out the work late. I remember nigga having nothing but my mama and some starting on my motherfucking birthday. Baby, can I live it like a body? Let my mama smoke it till she finish. Let her know. Really good one. I feel like that song has mainstream potential. Absolutely. No, no, this one is, uh, this one and um, Titty and Dollar. I felt like, ah, now these are just, these are the two songs that he's able to make music that just makes you feel cool, that yeah. makes you feel good, that makes yeah. you feel like, take on the day. I'm already taking yeah. on the day. It's that extra push you can get. He does like Without that. making you feel like he's overwhelming you and better than you. You know what I mean? Right. Sometimes he it's like. He just turned up with the sad song. The the, yeah. the Isaiah Rashad we learned from the sad songs. Yeah. We just turned that up some and then yeah. took a bit of sadness away. It was still there. <laughs> it was still there. And it was like, it was cool though because he was able to still kind of get that off. It yeah. just wasn't as much eased up on it. Yeah. But I agree that has mainstream potential. Yeah. I think Titty and Dollar has mainstream it's potential. potential. Like yeah. it's, he can hit that kind, kind of, of song. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, I agree. So the last track we'll do is Find a Topic, Homies Begged. Um, it's funny because it references back uh, at the end of some of these songs, the rest of the Dave Free skits kick in. Okay. And one of them is um, Dave Free basically telling um, Isaiah Rashad that he needs to find a topic, literally. So I guess as a, just a joke and nod to that, he made this song. Now, here's the thing with this. I don't know if we've got the time or whatnot, but we could let like, 15 seconds of this version play and it's cool and it's amazing but the original version that's removed from streaming services that's on youtube feels way more organic and then we could like if we let like could we let like 15 no, seconds of this way and then the youtube this is playing both oh yeah yeah you sure? say, so you're okay. saying that they they're the same song the beat the first but it's yeah but they there's a difference so like let's yeah. see how that changes the mood i know you know okay, the answer sure. that is but uh, sure. yeah, so this is the last song find a topic uh, homies begged uh, from the album yep correct let's yep. check this out I just like 
like a freak ho for the nostalgia. No more heart can't bring no more. I can't even feel the paper cuts. Let me see my son and let me ball, let me ball, yeah. Measure twice, cut once, fucked up on that other night. And the kids got me high enough to touch the rim. As a kid, that's the only thing I wanna do. Yeah, I feel like Mikey D. Lord, I guess I gotta take my words back. Merge with me, Henny, like her. I got 25 plus a few. This might be the zip or the shit or another clue. I got what you need, what you don't, what you never knew. Yeah. Skin and bones. Like a freak, I'm home for the nostalgia. No, my heart can't bring no more. Skin and bones, you are my favorite type. <laughs> you, yeah. you my favorite topic. Yeah. Money, fucking love it. Yeah. You my favorite topic. You, money, fucking love it. Yeah. You my favorite topic. Yeah. Money, fucking love it. Yeah. You my favorite topic. Yeah. Money. Um, um, he's the kind of artist that I lost my thought here. Um, um, he is the kind of artist that, wow, I stopped the song, everything for it. Um, he's the kind of artist to where you want a, if I didn't know who Drake was, mm -hmm. I would instantly be able to on my own go and get the gist like if i know who you guys at all yeah. i can go to like apple music's like top 10 um drake songs yeah. and i'll get the gist of it I'll, eventually i'll find that there's better and worse but like i'll get that right mm -hmm. i feel like isaiah rashad is an artist that you want like a tour guide through <laughs> you know what i'm saying because like you want the kind of fans who know that this is the real one you need to listen. the way that you kind of stop this like yeah, yeah we could just listen to this song uh -huh. but there's a version that exists that's better than this it just happened yeah. to not be on it you know that's the i want that tour guide you know what i'm saying yeah. like the way i'm like with you i'm getting the tour guide through it but like this it makes uh i'm getting more from him yeah you know, i'm getting bigger bites of it and i like it um so in this version that part on um, what instrument is it where it goes <laughs> um if we played a little fucking i guess we back to talking shit that one. again mm -mm. It's like a little keyboard. Okay. Like a little light and you know how it still has a solemn, sad feel to it and all throughout? Right. So funny enough, the original version is probably, it's the same beat and pattern or whatever, but it's probably like the most upbeat feeling song. A beat, beat. Not song because right. of the lyrics ultimately, but beat out of the bunch. Yet it utilizes the same thing. Huh. Uh, yeah, okay. I think it, I can't even explain it. So now let's But yeah, and let's play to the end okay. as well. We'll, we'll uh, wrap this up with this one. Let's, let's go. do it. The nostalgia, no my heart can't bring no more. I can't even feel the paper cuts. Let me see my son and let me ball, let me ball, yeah. Measure twice, cut once, fucked up on that other night. And the kids got me high enough to touch the rim. As a kid, that's the only thing I wanna do. Yeah, I feel like Mikey D. Lord, I guess I gotta take my words back. Merge with me, Henny, like her. I got 25 plus a few. This might be the zip or the shit or another clue. I got what you need, what you don't, what you never knew. Yeah. Skin and bones, you are my favorite type. Yeah. Skin and bones, you are my favorite type. <laughs> you, yeah, you my favorite topic. Yeah, money, fucking love it. Yeah. You my favorite topic. Because I do want to cover this before. Yeah. Um, why do you do you know a story behind that? As to why I was as to why that no was? good question. So I don't. Which one do you prefer? Um. 
guess since I hear this version less, because if I play it, I just play the album from my phone. It'll play the current right. version. I'm just so accustomed to it, and this seems more like a treat. And I do like the up, more upbeat feel to it. Uh, I, I guess I kind of like this one more, but I like both. It's okay with me. Both is cool with me. This no, one's cool. I hope we get into a... Um, I hope we get to a point with, in the music industry to where it's, you know, the there's maybe 10 artists in the world who could release an album. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's releasing albums, but there's maybe 10 that an album is like a moment. You know, yeah. it's like it's the, this is the album of the year. You know, yeah. really, you're just releasing an album. So uh, you're, you're trying to improve your essentials list every time. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you're trying to that the top played whatever like your your artist essentials. Every time you release a new project, you're trying to get new songs onto Into that there. because yeah. really that's where people are listening. I know there's people who will listen to albums, but I think that that's kind of the prestige of what yeah. an album was is coming to an end. I see but, what you're saying. You know, that makes sense. In in that case, I'm waiting for artists to like release both. You know what I'm saying? Release multiple versions. You didn't really know which one was uh, the best. You like you know oh, both, like both of these. Yeah. Release them both on streaming services, and you don't even have to give us like a deluxe whatever. Just make like a Isaiah Rashad alt version yeah. you know, album of it, and you know give people that other experience that maybe That's you were a thinking. Good point. You know, you might as well. And I like that we have access to it. I just yeah. wish it was like sanctioned. I'm not saying it's, it's not, but I just wish that they, because uh, you know, think of an artist. Uh, that's able think of a um what is that band's name kevin parker uh a tame impala album mm -hmm. where it's like here's two or three other ideas that i had for that kind of yeah like, that's that would a good be point cool, you know, yeah. cool experience uh overall i like isaiah rashad because i i uh it's a sound that's missing and nobody's covering and i like it and i miss it i'm, I'm sad that there's not more artists that are kind of in this it's not quite weed music, it's vibe music, but not in a way that's like um, selection, not in a way that's like, that's its own like, yeah. smoking song. You know, I smoke, agree, you know? yeah. Uh, there was times when I heard some big crit in like the production. Yeah, there absolutely. was times I heard like currency type of production. Yeah. He's able to add his story to that. His Southern influence is natural, like it just shows, you, right. you know. Yeah. It shows and it makes it not somebody trying to make Southern yeah. music or influenced by Southern music. It makes... Isaiah, this the Sun's tirade is a one of many quality albums from the South. Yeah, you know what I'm saying it's it's kind of own sound. If you like the if you like Southern music, you'll love you know uh, that's basically what you pulled on me with the Isaiah Rashad. Yeah. Like, if you like Southern music, you'll love Isaiah Rashad and that the is influence exactly is there. Right. Yeah, and uh, his own style of it it makes it like you know. Um, if I want to listen to Southern music, I might be more in Isaiah Rashad mood than I would be a Three Six Mafia yeah. or a Juicy J mood or you know right. a Paul Wall type of mood. You know, it's so great that the region could even offer that variety. You know, right? Yeah. Right? Because usually I'm left finding like some outcast stuff. Yeah. You know, outcast usually really, I'm yeah. uh, maybe like Goody Mob, like that, you know, type of sound, and uh, he's able to do it. And to me, this kind of broke him a little away from the first album. I felt like. Oh, this is that like Isaiah Rashad, Young TDE. Um, yeah. What, what's the the um, Dreamville Bill, yeah. sound? Like it, if get, it was yeah. very Dreamville sound, which was kind of like the new underground. Yeah. This to me separated it from even that, and it's like Isaiah Rashad is his own really unique artist that I understand why he his fan base is uh, passionate. Yeah, he's so talented. He's super cool. Oh, uh, what do you think of the cover? Um, interesting uh, enough, no sun, huh? No, I just realized that this for the first I mean, like, um, interestingly enough, but after listening to the album, sun would be a disservice, yeah. I mean, I'm glad there's no, album, yeah, right? I guess. but I, I, he's got almost, like a Cadillac, of course, you know, yeah. It's it's kind of like that that drawing style of you remember, uh, back in the day, uh, at the, the 25 cent machines, it was homies, oh, yeah, it's like in the art direction, of yeah. Homies. Obviously I not replicated, it, yeah. but you know, that kind of, I like it. Uh, very video game um, is dope. Yeah. I don't think that it, it doesn't add to the music. Right. Because it doesn't prepare me for what I'm about to, <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying, what I'm about to embark on. But it's fine though. Like, that's fine. Like, that's also a pleasant surprise as you go, you know, and you enjoy the music enough to not have to be like, damn, he's sad. Yeah. 
uh, or damn, I'm sad now. Yeah, what I like about it is it naturally does have that black border as it shows there. Right. With the title, yeah. So yeah, I think yeah, that yeah. The frame adds a little. It's so dope, tough. I like the the running yeah. thing of like the handwritten title. Oh it's yeah. Supposed to still be a demo. Like, yeah, he crossed the. Uh, yeah. Did he the continue th that with um, the house? Is yeah, burning? the house is burning has a sketch of a little house burning. Right. Like, yeah, it's pretty cool. Cool, cool, cool. This, uh, yeah. Overall, uh, I've turned into a fan of Isaiah Rashad. Nice. Um, I like his music and it's even artistically inspiring. Oh, yeah, you know, it's even so like cool. uh, he's hitting some and it's everything is really subtle, but it doesn't need to do a lot. Yeah. Everything just gives you something that um, it feels familiar. Like, yeah. Oh, okay. Funny enough. All the vibers. I'm a viber. That track. <laughs> absolutely. That track right there. Smile is a banger, too. It's it's a single. It was never put on an album. but It's so fucking good. It's so what we'll do actually now that we've officially gone through Isaiah Rashad at least his first two, yeah. he's like the official book club yeah. artist that should be our next um, well not a starter kit let's do a, a oh. uh, upgrade of his uh, singles, his singles and there's quite a few episodes, yeah right? like, what, are, what are the deep dives of uh, his catalog and yeah. give you a four you, to follow it up you know funny enough like I have all like the a lot of the TDA stuff, the only ones I don't have is anything post Mr. Morale, but the other stuff, including the house is burning. Although this and Sylvia demo were never released on vinyl, but I was telling my brother how like it kind of sucks because despite all the TDA stuff, I the only thing I have from Isaiah Rashad on vinyl prior to the house is burning was his appearance on SZA's album. Okay. Because he had he hadn't been on the Black Panther soundtrack. Right. He hadn't appeared on like anything of Schoolboy Q or J Rocks or Kendrick's, like nothing at all, to the point where it's like so elusive in a sense. Right. But the SZA one, I could ma see just because they're so close. So even his like singles and rarities are far and few in between, just because there aren't too many. But it's um, which one was it? I think it was Pretty Little Birds off of right. Control, right? I think that's his number one song actually played oh. on um, Apple Music. Oh, music off of Her Strength. Yeah. Yeah. But um, I have heard that song, though. And yeah, he actually has so a strong yeah. voice on it, so he holds his own. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's so many. Yeah, okay, I'm hella excited because there's another. Okay, yeah. Warm Winds is another good one that they two, those two have off of Z. Fuck yeah. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Upgrade coming soon. Upgrade coming soon. Upgrade coming soon. Uh, this has been the isaiah rashad sylvia demo episode of the book club yep. next week mm -hmm. we're going to try something new i'm going to preview it uh we are going to turn to the cinema yep and we are going to live view all of the 2016 oscar nominated short films and give like commentary let's do you know? it we we cover music thoroughly and we do it great we always do it we're short film connoisseurs but too we're, exactly yeah, they don't know yeah, yet but, yeah Host of Book Club, Guinness World Record holder, holder. and Sh animated and short film connoisseur, Oscar nominated animated short film connoisseur. Because right. yep. exactly. we don't watch it if it's not Oscar. No. Or no, no, that's when you because when it's something like film, you call it critic. So you don't say like Critically. you're the the um, official world hold, world uh, record holding they have to listen to you if you say that that short film is good they have to listen you hold a world record yes this is true what this you is mean? absolutely true Come on. and you host a book club yeah this is a top tier opinion elite yeah. opinion it's make sure you uh, follow us on you TikTok. mean facts we're giving facts, facts. We're giving we're facts. Drop facts. these aren't opinions these, these are, aren't reviews these, these are, are facts. facts big facts, facts only <laughs> big facts <laughs> <laughs> big facts and little details <laughs> now as we leave from the book club, we're going to shortly take a small break, get you back to the countdown, because we have a the first episode of the new season of Pirate Radio. And you know what? We're actually cast members on Pirate Radio now. Ooh, are we getting um kidnapped and put into the high seas? Uh, yeah, and then we end oh. up becoming just his his swashbuckling like uh, buccaneers. I, I can't wait out there. We have like the knife in our mouth yes. type shit. Yeah, so I hope I get to be like first deputy or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, ask him. I will. <laughs> I'll ask the captain. So we're about to hop on the ship. Pirate radio coming soon. But Don't. today, great episode. Follow us on TikTok. Follow us on YouTube. Keep watching the WizKid video. I've been James Levine. I'm Mohammed. Good night. See y'all soon. See y'all in a minute. See y'all in a minute. <laughs> <laughs>